Like around 19, 20. But you don't want to. I mean, it's not enough. It's not to. It's not gonna read anymore. No. Anymore past the, the so 19. We got the Map Daddy mm -hmm. four bar. Uh, it goes inside your module. Mm -hmm. or whatever. And this one, we had to cut this guy out. Yeah. We had and to unbolt that, cut the pins out, we pinned out the other ones. We stuck this one back in. Soldered that one in. We soldered it, and then, uh, I don't know if you want to explain that this one does a barometric, barometric uh, correction. Mm -hmm. And this is what you got to add this thing to the, to the JS file. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. You just got to adjust the length of your... The vacuum hose? The vacuum hose. And adjust it pretty much, and that's it. Fold so it all up, and then once you're ready to put it back in, call it a day. And go up to 45, I mean 44 PSA? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Mega Squirt with Map Daddy, the new Map Daddy. <laughs> a little hot in here. A little hot in here. <laughs> Map Daddy 1, now you just gotta see if it. <laughs> see if your car starts now. Yeah. If you did it right. <laughs> For real. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, today Tony did, uh, he uh, soldered in the other map for his uh, Mega Squirt, for his uh, for Z31. And today he's gonna go see if this all his uh, soldering work worked out. He's gonna, he's gonna take this thing home and see if it starts up the car. See how that goes. And in other news, uh, the adapter plate finally shipped out. They finally got all that stuff taken care of with the uh, with the shipping. There's something wrong with my billing and shipping address because they were different. Blah blah. Who cares? As long as it's it's sent out now, it should be here in a couple more days. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are too, because then we're going to be able to put the transmission on the car. I mean, even though we don't have a clutch, but we'll be able to put the transmission on. Alright guys, so we installed the Mega Square already with the new map sensor. Did the corrections on Tuner Studio. And bam, she's idling. Alright guys, so right now we're on our way to drop off Tony's uh, Z off with one of his friends that's going to be fixing one of the motor mounts that broke that broke on his car. I think it's the, the driver's side motor mount. He has a solid mount that he made when he did the swap, but I mean he, he admits he's not the greatest welder and maybe the welds weren't strong enough and they broke. Or it could be all the all the racing he's been doing, all the beating on, beating up on the engine, but whatever it may be, he's gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go drop off this car right now to get that fixed, and I think uh, he's gonna have him make a catch can as well. So we'll get back to you once we drop off the car. And we're here. All right, guys. So. We dropped off uh, Tony Z over with his friend Javier, but um, I didn't stay. It was way, way too hot. Felt like it was 150. I'm sure it wasn't that hot. It was probably like 110, maybe a little bit less than 110, but for some reason it just felt horrible. So I left. They got the motor mount fixed. Um, he took it out uh, that same night, I think, and, 
and raced uh, a Corvette and I'm not sure what other car. I think it was a Corvette and and a BMW 335. Well, let's hold on to that thought. Look what we have here. Freaking accident right here. What the heck, man? Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, he got the motor mount fixed. He didn't get the catch can made, but he got a quote on it. Uh, he took uh, his car out uh, same night, uh, did uh, some pulls with a 335 and, um, and a Corvette. I'm not too sure which Corvette, but I'm pretty sure they got some videos of it, so I'll probably post them up here on this video. I think the next step for that car uh, is going to be uh, getting a getting a dyno tuned, but I'm not too sure when we're going to be able to to take it in to get tuned. Um, but on the upside, after plate for my car should be should be in pretty soon, so we'll be having videos on getting the adapter plate put on and probably making the drive shaft. Once uh, we get the adapter plate in, which should be in here on Tuesday, I'm hoping um, we'll have a lot more, a lot more uh, content on my Z. It's just been, uh, you know, it's been a little slow because adapter plate is a, you know, pretty major part of the build. So okay, I don't really want to do anything else until I have the engine and transmission sitting where where they're gonna sit from now on. But anyways, guys. Um, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. One last thing, guys, before before I end this video. Um, I just want to say that it really makes me happy uh, to see that, that there's people that are actually watching these videos. Like it, it, it doesn't seem like it's that hard. Like, it would be that hard to make these videos, but it takes a lot of time to... To, like set up your camera and record and say whatever you gotta say the work part is easy but the, the like the filming and the editing stuff takes forever and you know it feels good that people are actually watching these videos it'd be kind of sad if nobody was watching them and you know I'm spending all that time to make them and for nobody to watch them but it, you know it makes me feel good that people watch them it makes me want to keep making them um, also, I, I you know I read all the comments. I try to. Well, I've been responding to all the comments, and there's one that says that they want to see a review on uh, on Tony's one uh, JZ Z31, and we'll probably probably do that uh, after after it gets tuned or maybe maybe before. But anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this now, for real this time. Peace out.